Hi guys, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Now each week I'll be releasing a weekly workout, one with equipment and one without. Today's you'll need some equipment, so you'll need a pair of dumbbells. You might want to grab a mat as well if you have one and some water. And we'll be doing a full body strength workout with a few cardio moves thrown in as well. But I hope that you enjoy it. And if you're new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because you don't want to miss any more of my workout uploads. Let's go. All right guys, so throughout this routine, you are going to need to be changing up your weight if you've got more than one pair of dumbbells. If you've only got one pair, then that's fine. But if you can change up and down, depending on what we're doing, then that'll be brilliant. So we're doing each exercise for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, two sets per exercise, starting with a goblet squat. So hold your dumbbell vertically, go deep with your squat, toes pointing out. Let's go and keep your elbows inside your knees. If they touch the knees, that's fine, but just make sure that you're squatting down deep, squeezing the glutes as you come back up, keeping the midsection nice and tight. And that's good. Toes pointing out, squat deep. Keep the chest nice and lifted. Down, off. Keep pushing. Five seconds left. Good stuff, rest it off. And let's go again, five seconds. Let's go, squatting down. Push up, good. Get those quads activated, nice and strong. And get those glutes working as well. Good stuff, keep pushing. And we're gonna pick up the pace after this exercise and we're going into mountain climbers. And rest in five, four, three, two, one. Rest it off, drop your dumbbell. And let's take it down. And we're going in four, three, two, one. Let's go. So keep the body in a straight line, pick the knees up to the chest and keep it moving. If you prefer, just step it in and that's fine as well. And if you want to make it harder, then cross opposite knee to opposite elbow. Eight seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it off. Let's grab a drink. Good stuff. And we're going again in three, two, and one. Let's go. Pick that pace up. Keep it moving, stepping in and out, or running. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Okay, 
Next, we're doing single arm dumbbell swings. So, you're gonna squat down, bring the dumbbell, and then swing it up. Let's go. Now, this is gonna work the hamstring and the glutes. Activate those fast switch fibers. Now, what you wanna do is try and swing the dumbbell up, but don't be swinging it up too high. You wanna keep it at a shoulder height. Like this, keep the chest nice and lifted. Squeeze those glutes when you push up. And you want your torso when you bend down to be about 45 degrees from the floor and then just keep swinging. Four, three, two, one. Rest it off and then we'll go on the other side in a few seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's pick that pace up, come on. So keep swinging. If your arm is swinging up too high, then that tells me that your dumbbell's probably not quite heavy enough. So grab something heavier if you've got the option. If not, just keep swinging because you're gonna benefit from the squat. Even if your dumbbell's not quite heavy enough. So keep pushing, good. 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So next, we're going into T push up. So, you don't have to push up in the middle, but if you want to, push up, and then shake up a two. Now if you'd rather just rotate, and that's fine, Keep lifting and looking up to the ceiling, switching sides, keep that plank position, keep the bum nice and low, and keep rotating. Feel that stretch. Good work. Two and one. Rest it off. And then we'll go again. And on this set, if you can't do full push ups, then try and do a push up on your knees. And that will be fine as well. So push up and rotate. Push up and rotate or just stick to what we were doing originally, high plank position, and just rotate. Excellent. So next, we will be doing a dumbbell row. So you wanna push your dumbbells up if you've got a set. And we're pulling up, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Really feel that. So hinge from the hips, lean forward slightly and keep pulling up and down. Good. And your feet should be shoulder width apart and just keep pulling. Squeeze those shoulder blades together when you're pulling up. Good work, keep going. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest it off. Excellent. 
and we'll go again in 10 seconds. Let's go. Squeeze and keep your torso as still as you can. Really, it should only be your arms moving. Keep it working. Good stuff. Fourteen seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Okay, next we're doing a side touch and a lunge. So you are lunging out to the side, head and chest off, dumbbells to the floor, and then back to standing, and then go again on the other side. Okay. So we're stepping out, back together, out and back together. When you're stepping out with the side lunge, you don't want this foot coming off the floor. You wanna keep it nice and planted and then go back and then go again on the other side. And this will work the inner and the outer thigh muscles and the glutes as well. So keep going. Step it out, together, step it out, together. A few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Rest it off. Good. Brilliant job so far. We're about halfway through. So, and we'll go again in three, two, and one, let's go. Keep going, good stuff. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, okay. So next, what we're doing is a lunge with a rotation as well. So you're lunging with the left leg and twisting to the left, back to standing, and then again on the other side. So keep it stepping on your lunge. Try and keep your back leg at a 90 degree angle and just twist the upper body. So the same side that you're stepping with, you're twisting to that side as well. Keep breathing, nice deep breaths. Get those legs working. But with this one as well, it's great because we're getting the upper body working as well and you should feel it in the obliques. A good full body work. Out, rest it off. And we'll go again in 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Good job, keep stepping forwards and back. Good job. Good work guys, 
Okay, so next we're gonna do a squat press. So squatting down to the floor, pressing the dumbbells up to the ceiling. Keep everything nice and tight. Let's go. So squat down, press up, squeeze the glutes on the way up and keep that moving. Really push up with the shoulder muscles as you go up tall to the ceiling, keeping the chest lifted. Good. Fifteen seconds to go. Thirteen, twelve. Good, keep pushing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, and one. Rest the arm and then we'll go again for the second set. Try and keep up that energy. Let's go. Squat, push, squat, push. Good. Keep working. Twelve, eleven, ten seconds left. Three, two, and one. Good work, guys. So next. What we're doing is palms facing out, we're going to row up and then we're going to fly out to the side, okay? Let's go. So row, fly. Try and keep the elbows slightly bent when you're going out to the sides. Again, working that upper back muscle. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Go again in a few seconds, just shake it off. Roll those shoulders. Two, one, let's go. Good. Breathe in. Halfway. Good, keep moving. Good stuff. Two and one. Excellent, guys. Next, what we're doing are windmills. So, off. And then out to the side, press, and down. So, palms facing out, circle the dumbbells up to the top, then out to the side, press, and down. Good. Keep it up. Good work guys. And for this one, if you haven't already noticed, you will want some light weight. 
breast it off. I think that one's a really tough exercise because of the range of motion. It really does put pressure on those muscles. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Keep pressing halfway, not long left. Get all that energy that you've got left and really go for it. 10, nine, eight, seven, a few more seconds. Excellent job guys, that's it. We are done. I hope that you feel good after that workout. I do anyway. And if you're sweating anything like me, then you've definitely pushed yourself, so it's all good. Okay, so make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell. And if you enjoyed that workout, give it a thumbs up. And I'll look forward to seeing you next week for our next weekly workout. Catch you soon.